coming up, we'll take a look at a new TV show that's 100% commercials. We'll tell you why you should watch next on Money for Breakfast. Who would watch a TV show that was nothing but commercials? The people behind a New York media company called Firebrand are hoping that you will. Firebrand recently launched a new show of the same name that is wall-to-wall -wall commercials or ad videos with CJs or commercial jockeys running the show. If this sounds a little bit like the early days of MTV, there's good reason for that. Firebrand CEO John Lack co-founded MTV over 25 years ago. He's a legend in the industry and he's kind enough to drop by, drop by for today's Media Land. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so tell us a little bit about Firebrand, what, what it's doing and the message it's creating. Well, it's, it's on three platforms. It's TV, web and mobile. So an hour of television a night on uh, ION, a television network uh, in America, 24-7 uh, streaming on the web, and a daily podcast playlist on iTunes every day. So it's all commercials, sort of programs, cool television commercials targeted to 12 to 34 year olds, much the way MTV used to program music videos. So this is really the, the generation Y who you think will want to see the commercials, both old and new, and that maybe they'll go out and purchase and there's some great brand value for this. Exactly. I mean, television commercials were made to have you do something and they're made as you know by some of the great directors, some of the great actors. The average network television commercial below the line, the production costs, close to a half a million dollars a 30. So a million dollars a minute worth of production value. It's about 50 million an hour on Firebrand. So big time stuff. And of course, every commercial has an offer. 20% off, 40% off, free this, join this, subscribe to that. So we'll see if the commercial as an interruption can be turned into the commercial as a destination. I was reading a lot of research about this because I, I think it's a really fascinating concept. And you were quoted as saying that Firebrand is the QVC for the MySpace generation. Well, How is that? Well, the hope is that these kids who we know from our research share these commercials. They download these commercials. They blog these commercials. And soon they're going to be able to make their own playlists and send that to their friends and family. So the idea is if these commercials are as good as Madison Avenue thought they were, hopefully you'll come and watch them when you want to. Opt in, as they say, on Madison Avenue, and then begin to buy these products. Speaking of Madison Avenue, how were they responding to this? Do they like this idea? They do, but we're changing the model. You know, Google says, this great successful company says, we kind of know where you're clicking, so we're going to send you the ads that we think are appropriate to you. Firebrand says, we're going to show you the coolest commercials. If you opt in, the value of you to an advertiser is a lot higher. You know, you have to tell us, why did you choose a family-friendly network like ION? I would think that that's a, that's a different kind of choice that I would expect for this kind of audience. It sort of is, but it's the only place we could find an hour at 11 o'clock, five nights a week in 95 million homes that would sell us this time. Do, do you think this has the potential to be like MTV, that it could be a 24-hour standalone network? That's the dream. 24 hours here in America and 24 hours internationally, as well as TV, web, and mobile 24 hours. And do you foresee this being kind of like the YouTube craze where commercials are not just commercials that are created on Madison Avenue, but commercials are created by you and me at home saying, hey, here's my cool Nike sneakers, and all of a sudden you're playing those commercials on television? Of course. Remember, MTV, in the beginning, it was bands playing their music. These were promotional videos. In the end, it was video poetry. Bands and artists created magical little movies. The same, I think, here. I think we'll hopefully inspire Madison Avenue and people who can't get on some of the big networks to make cool stuff to sell cool products. You know, like MTV, since you co-founded it, how do you protect against cap copyright infringement issues as it relates to the commercials? Great marketing, great distribution, and great people who come back and saying, this is where we want to go. I mean, look, there are other people in the business, business news business. They come to Fox because they like you or they like what you're doing. It's the same with us. All right. Well, John Lack, it was a great pleasure meeting you, and, and best of luck. I think Thank it's a you. real cool concept. I'm going to check it out. Ciao. All right. Let's send it over now to...